Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Explore Gadgets with Ayush and today I have with me some great Android apps. So without any further ado, let's get this started. Now first up we have a TV app and it's called TV Time. If you love TV shows, this app is a great choice to stay updated on all the upcoming episodes and track your progress, as you can see here. Over here you also get reactions from the community and if you want, you can also give your feedback as well. Moreover, your profile shows your stats and you can also get notifications of your favorite TV shows. Overall, this is a great app to stay updated on your favorite TV shows. Now next up is Volume Notification. With this app, you get shortcuts on your notification bar to adjust the volumes of your media, ringtones, calls, etc. Additionally, you can also add more shortcuts like alarm, notifications, volumes and others. It's really easy to change the volumes while on call or while playing games. And it's way easier than using the volume keys, plus you don't have to maneuver between the settings every time you want to change the volume of any particular function. This video is sponsored by Mobile Trans from Wondershare. Mobile Trans is an amazing app for your windows that can be used to transfer data from phone to phone. Restore from backup sources like iCloud, iTunes, Blackberry, OneDrive and so on. You can also back up your phone and erase your data. It's a great app to back up, restore and manage your device. Now next is Unseen. Ever wish not to be on a conversation while still want to read the whole thing? Well with this app you can read everything as if you're in the incognito mode. This app works well with Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp and Biber. You can see all the received messages here, which also centralizes all your chat at one place. From here, you can choose what messages you want to reply to, read the full conversations and stay incognito. This app also prevents your last seen status. Now next up, we have Spicy. This is a great app that lets you monitor other phones. After installation, simply follow the instructions and install it to other device you want to monitor. Then you can monitor things like locations, call logs, messages and so on. You can dig deeper and see the details from the slider menu and to monitor other things like messages or photos, you will need to buy the premium version of the application. This app can be really useful to spy on your kid's phone. You can monitor most of the stuff without using the device. Also this app can be a little lifesaver since it can give details on current locations and frequently used contacts. It's a must-have app if you want to monitor someone's phone. And I'm eagerly waiting for this to come in the iOS. Now next up is Phoenix 2. If you are a Twitter user, you must give this app a try. This app gives you a faster and cleaner Twitter experience. The UI is minimal and everything is sorted so nicely. Your timeline, activities and messages can be accessed easily with swipes. Quite convenient. Now next up we have Launchify. This app provides you a quick access to mostly used apps right on your notification bar. You can give this app your home address or your work address so that the app will know when you're driving, if you're at home or work and will suggest apps accordingly, basically like profiles. This app will always stay on your notification bar and can be used from any other apps, games or your lock screen. All in all, it makes app switching really easy. Now next up is Fingerprint Quick Action. Lately all smartphones come with fingerprint scanners and we always wish it did something more than just unlock your device. You can use this app to assign shortcuts to your fingerprint scanner like go home, back, recent apps, quick settings, screenshots and so on. It's really useful to have shortcuts or gestures for various actions right on your fingertips. Moreover, you can also try experimental shortcuts like fast swipe or double tap. Now next up we have an unusual name, Wallpepper. This app is our pick of wallpaper app for this episode. You have a wide range of stylish wallpapers and a variety of categories to choose from. And the good thing is you can also set your own solid colors as wallpaper for a more minimal look. Now next up we have Adobe Scan. Adobe has always been providing us with great mobile apps and this time we have the Adobe Scan. As the name implies, you can use this app to scan physical documents. You can use the phone's camera to scan the documents or scan it from the saved photos. 
The camera automatically highlights the size of your document and once you're done, you can apply filters, rotate or crop. This app works perfectly on printed documents and can also work on computer screens as well. It's a great tool to transform physical documents to digital copies. Now next up, well I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is Timbre or Timbre. This app brings tools to your audio and video files. You can combine clips, trim them, convert them to other formats, change bit rates and so on. It's great for making ringtones from your favorite audio file and for some basic tools for video editing. Now lastly, we have Stealth Player. As the name implies, it's an audio player app that plays all your audio files via your earpiece. That is, you get to listen to your audio files like you're having a phone call. It's a great way to listen to voice messages, voicemails and other audio files when you need privacy and you don't have your earphones. I wouldn't really recommend to play music via this app, but well, anything you want to play in private. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get all the notifications first. Until next time, you guys have a great day.